hello, hello. Welcome to another Moto Vlog. Hey, nice you guys playing guitar for us. That's fun. We are out today on the Helix or the Helix swapped Honda Ruckus. It's a CN250 250cc engine. This thing is a beast. So we are just out cruising, just got off work. All those people are back there in the square waiting for the solar eclipse. E eclipse. Eclipse with an L. Uh, so that's cool. Wow, that's also cool. Check that out. My wiener is not that big, but it is cool. Uh, <laughs> jokes aside, that is pretty awesome. The wiener mobile. So we're cruising back home. I'm gonna take this thing on some 55s and just kind of get it through the hills. I have a uh, this bike is my favorite to ride, and likewise, you get a lot of questions on what's it like, right? It's a blast. It's a blast. Just like any other small board bike, you're going to have a good time. You're going to have a blast. So we'll turn left here, hook a right, and then we're going to be good to go. We'll swing that yellow light. It's fine. This is fine. The best part about this bike is the acceleration. Don't get me wrong, it is fast for what it is. Uh, this bike will do 70 with me on it, no problem. I love it for that. I am a little bit heavier of a rider. But from a dig, that's where this thing really shines. I can easily accelerate 50 to 60, it's not a problem. And like I said, I can hill climb doing that same speed at 50 to 60, and it's great. I didn't modify the rollers or anything i just cleaned them up greased them called it a day this is a cvt just like the honda ruckus is so if you're familiar with that platform basically once you pull the throttle it spins the uh these weights around and as they go faster they spin to the outside it's kind of hard to explain but it spins to the outside of a wheel that wheel then pushes the drive face out forcing a belt out farther so it's almost like you have a transmission um, just without the gears right so yeah it's a blast though would I recommend this to anybody absolutely I will do a pro con video of the helix swap I think that with all the questions that I've gotten surrounding if they should do it if you should do it um, or if it's worth it I'm gonna go ahead and say it's absolutely worth it it's kind of a headache because you have to make quite a few brackets and things that are not available to which I've actually thought about manufacturing because now that I obviously have one that works great I could then in theory replicate those parts and everything uses the Honda Ruckus uh, bushings which is really nice so that way it's easily serviceable and whatnot but yeah we're headed home we're gonna go see the solar eclipse if you are in line with the clips i know it's been talked about on the news your mom your mom's friends their friends friends everyone at work it's pretty annoying honestly but i know the kids will enjoy it so i'm excited to get home and check that out should be in another hour or so and this is my favorite part you can go full throttle on this. It will climb and keep climbing. I'm going uphill at 55, and it would have kept going if this person wasn't in front of me, for lack of better terms. It'll move hopefully soon. But whenever you twist the throttle on this, the nicest thing about this swap is it always feels like you have plenty of torque to build speed. Uh, even at this speed, if I'm doing 45 and I turn the throttle, I definitely feel a good push behind me. Um, it doesn't feel bogged in any way. And again, I always go back to because I'm a heavier rider, I'll put my wife on this thing and she's like a fucking spaceship. She just flies around. It's insane. So I obviously know that most people are not as heavy as I. And so if you're 270 or below, you're going to have a good time. Even older that. I mean, as long as you beef up the shock and stuff. So 
this will give us a good opportunity to check from a dig. Just kind of hang out here, go from zero to whatever. Just pull the throttle and go. But man, this thing is so fun. I added the fuel tank. This has been super nice. When I went down to Tennessee last year, it was a blast, always is. We go down in June every year for the small boat rally, and I just kept running out of fuel. It sucked. How many people, my friends that I was riding with, and I'd be like, guys, we need to stop for fuel, we need to stop for fuel. And it became a running joke of, like, why are you doing that? Let's go! So as you can see, it goes plenty quick to what you'd want. I'll have to do, like, a 0 to 60 time as well as some other things. Make sure there's no cops behind me. But it just feels so good to be able to throttle, feel like you're constantly able to get out of your own way, have the power when you need it. But anyways, back to the story. We were in Tennessee and just kept having to stop for gas and it became a running joke where everyone was like, dude, you need to fix that. So as soon as I got back, added this fuel tank. This adds about I don't know, uh, a gallon and three quarters or so. I never measure it exactly, but it's roughly roundabouts. And so I effectively almost double the fuel capacity. So I think this year it'll be really nice to not have to worry about stopping all the time. And it's been great. I had FLP Evan at FLP Parts hook me up, uh, helped me out a ton. He machined a lower fuel cap, so what I did is I basically just put a fuel cap with a NPT fitting in it with a quarter inch fuel line going to this gravity tank. That thing's sweet. That was awesome. I love old wagons. And I put that fuel line down to gravity feed through that nipple, and it's great. Sealed awesome. And now I don't have to worry about fuel issues. I can just kind of fill this top one up, let it gravity feed, and it flows on through. But yeah, that's a big thing. If you're going to do the swap, the fueling obviously changes drastically. Drastically. When you have a stock on the Ruckus, you're easily getting 100, 120-ish to the gallon. Hence why they only put such small tanks in these. So once you swap it, suddenly you're only getting like 40 to the gallon or so. That makes a big difference. You're going down by more than half. You're going to have a bad time. And for me, I always, you know, I want to I want to ride it. I don't want to sit at the gas station. And I want to enjoy it. So that's what I did. I made sure that I can do that. And this year I won't have any issues. So I'm excited. And this is the best part of this road. There's a nice little downhill and a right-hand turn out of it at the bottom. Finally got a 70 degree day and I'm like, oh, I gotta take the bike to work. Got to. Itching. Cabin fever up in this bitch. <laughs> Get the bikes out. Ohio is rough like that. I mean, I don't know where you guys are located, but obviously most places anymore, weather is just dumb coming out of winter into spring. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Early February, it was we had a week of 60s and 70s. And then late February, we're into the 20s, 10s. It's like, what the heck? So yeah, this turn is so fun. So, so fun. I remember when I first got my TDI and I lowered it and put wheels on it. And just getting that at like 80, 90 mile an hour. Don't do this at home. Uh, just kidding. I never did that. That's a joke. I'm just kidding. But if I wasn't, it would be really fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. The other thing, too, you'll notice how I just waved to that guy. This bike, and I don't know, this is obviously the only Helix swap that I've had, but it shakes pretty violently on the handlebars. So, you know, the typical motorcycle wave is you lower your hand, two down, and you know wave to your brothers and i love it love the camaraderie whatever but i'm the guy that puts my hand up on this bike i know just because i don't feel like dying if i hit a little bump or something it does get kind of squirrely on the front end it's just it vibrates a ton i actually just had to fix the rear exhaust hanger because it just shattered the welds on the bracket on the back so ground that all down welded it painted it all good now, but yeah, it vibrates something fierce. Oh my god. And 
dig again. Let's go. So much fun. Oh, little cows. How cute. Speaking of cows, I'm about to drop a couple bucks on those, uh, what are they, little helmet covers? They got a little Highland cow thing. And you get a little cow suit with some others, go around and just, you know, make some people's day, make them laugh. I love those Moto Loot covers. They're so awesome. No, I'm not paid by them to drop this. I only have like, I don't know, 70 subscribers now, so that's not something that <laughs> they're paying me or anything. I just really like them. They're pretty sweet. All right. Well, actually, which way are we gonna go? We'll go this way behind this guy. Yeah, Honda Helix is a blast. Definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend. If I'm gonna see any of you guys, if any of my subscribers are in Tennessee in tune with me, let me know. I will gladly let you ride this bike, see how it is, any of my bikes for that matter. That's something for me, it's always been really fun to be able to let people ride and experience my bikes. Uh, I don't ever expect it in return. I know some people get really weird about that, but uh, me, not so much. I like people to enjoy it as well. Just don't break my stuff, obviously. Um, but yeah, so if I see any of you guys down there, let me know. Hit me up. You guys can ride this. I'll gladly do some interviews and whatnot. But otherwise, I'll let you guys go. We'll see you on the next one. If you guys have any other questions, anything you want to know about the Honda Helix, the Helix Swap, any questions or want to see certain videos on how to do something, drop a comment. And if you made it this far and you're not a subscriber, subscribe to that bitch. Hit that button. Poke it a bunch of times. Oh, that was roadkill. That was roadkill too. And uh, subscribe because, you know, I want you along for the journey. And it's going to be fun making more content. So otherwise, you guys have the best day ever. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh, yeah, my nails are painted. You'll get it if you have daughters. It's, it's fun. But anyways, peace the other way. <laughs>